having the most advanced and creative solutions could make all the difference. In this segment, we'll see how one company is meeting the ever-changing needs of businesses and consumers worldwide. The United States is currently facing a housing crisis. With new homes in short supply and rental prices on the rise, it's becoming increasingly difficult to source affordable housing. Joining us today are Urban Rigger Executive Chairman and CEO Lars Funding and COO Peter Meinchusen to discuss a new kind of community that's poised to change the face of sustainable housing and help people from all walks of life find a special place to call home. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Lars, why does the world need Urban Rigger? The world needs urban rigor because there is a huge shortage of affordable houses. Uh, the world also needs urban rigor because we want to create more communities where people get a chance to live together with other people, yet still having their own private space. The third point I would like to make is that we need to do something about climate change. So we need to create housing that is using, that is creating as little CO2 emission as possible. And the urban rigor is using all available technology to reduce exactly that. We see containers to communities, from houses to homes, and a place of living to a way of living is what we want to reach out with. And Peter, on your website, Urban Rigor is described as being designed after the Lego principles. Can you dive into what that means? Well, first of all, if you take Lego, Lego is about fantasy, about building and, and creating uh, uh, a way of, of design. And I look at uh, Urban Rigor as a way of, of doing the same where you can build them on top of each other, you can connect them together, you have the possibility of, of doing whatever is possible in the water. You don't, you're not, you're not in boundaries that that's, um, stop you from, from your fantasy ideas and so on. So when we look at Urban Rigor, the possibilities are huge. Also compared to living in apartments or if you want to have retail or you want offices, this is all possible with an Urban Rigor. So the fantasy is, is, is large on how you want to do the design. So Lars, what about using the containers as office space? Are they designed for businesses as well as residential? I really, really like that question because I can actually confirm that we have already tested them as offices because before we had all the apartments uh, fully rented out because it took us, you know, two to three months before we were fully rented out. Uh, we actually had a small businesses that had a problem with their present office. Actually, they were hit by a broken uh, a pipe. Uh, so they were without an office. So they actually asked us, hey, hey guys, can we borrow your office for a couple of months? And that's what we just did, and they loved it. So uh, so we are targeting also maybe at some stage to have, you know, a startup world, uh, an accelerator where you can both live and and uh, and work at the same time. And actually, when you look at, at actually attracting talent all around the world, one of the big problems there is actually it's very hard for, to find accommodation for these people, right? So, so you could imagine that you could put up urban breakers all around the world, uh, where people could actually then travel around depending on which project that they're that they're working on. So that's definitely a, a possible way, a possible way of using the urban breakers as well. Lars and Peter, thanks so much for joining us today. It's exciting to hear what you're doing in Denmark, and we look forward to seeing urban breaker communities in the U.S. Thank well, you very much. Such a big pleasure to, uh, to to having us to here today, and we are so ready uh, to uh, do everything we can to help creating affordable living in the United States. And thank you for watching, I'm Jana Burgess.